When younger, I hated my days stuck on an island, so I left when I was 23. But I visited the island again. I was 40 and fighting a cancer. I was exhausted by long-term anti-cancer therapies. That's when I met them, the woman of the sea. Of course, they were always there. Only, they were invisible to me before. This time, I saw them. They work in deep waters of the wild sea with no equipment to help them breathe. The folks used to call them the women who earn money in the netherworld to spend them in this world. This realization came to me like a bolt of lightning, how fearless these women are as they constantly straddle the fence between life and death in the wild open sea. From that day, I started to document the lives of Henya for seven years. The women of the sea begin their day by checking the conditions of the sea. She analyzes the wind, the wave, the current more accurately than any weather forecaster in the world. Once the decision is made, the women get busy. There are tried and true recipes, smear toothpaste with mugwort to prevent the fogging inside the goggles. Plug ear holes with chewed gum. Last but not least, take painkillers for the headaches from underwater pressure. Now they report to the sea for work. The sea determines what time. This is the last stop where they get together to check their equipment. Just goggles, weight belts, and hose. There are 4,500 Henya on Jeju Island. Most of them learn to be henya as soon as they could walk. The birth of a girl meant the birth of another henya.
Jeju Island is famous for its natural beauty and clean environment. But it is not the scenery that the women of the sea are after. Sea snail. Sea urchin. The most coveted of all, abalone. And the octopus are what they're after. But not everyone can catch them. Because there's a strict hierarchy in the sea. Those who work the bottom rung are called dregs. The dregs work hard, but their sea is not always generous. Oh Kim was a born dreg. She knew that herself, how deep she is allowed to dive. Changja belongs to Group B. For 70 years, she has been working the same sea. This is where Group A works. Here, they are rewarded with premium goods but the water pressure is heavier and their breath more stretched. In a typical workday, group A divers take more than 1,000 plunges for as long as three minutes each. They must always have enough breath to come up to the surface. When they come up, they blow out a whistle-like noise. Sumpisori is part of the Henya breathing technique to work longer in the sea. Group A Henya work in the distant sea, 700 meters away from the coast. They work eight continuous hours without even drinking water. Holding breath is the only way for them to work in the waters. I <laughs> 그냥 숨만 쉬어 근데 계속 물건을 잡아 불면 물건이 없어질 거 아니. 그거 입으면 다 헛벌이 다 잡아 잡아 불면 물건도 없고 후대에 어? 후대에 해녀 나오면은 멋을 잡아 먹겠냐. It came to me as a real surprise that the rank of Henya is predetermined solely by her breath capacity and the breath is predetermined by heaven. 자기 숨이 다 있어. 열 발이면 열 발, 여덟 발이면 여덟 발, 자기 갈 만큼만 가. 그 이상은 들어가지도 못하고, 내 우리 한 있어. 안 돼. 그건 절대 못, 못, 못 떨려가는 거. 어, 못 떨려가. 자기 능력이 있어야 돼요. 그 만들어서 되는 건 아니죠. 그 본대 상군 되는 사람들은 태어날 때부터 
저 병도 없고 그렇게 할수 있게 시리태 났고. 야 아줌마. 이거 동시대기로 들어가자. 연희 is a living legend. She's famous for her long breath underwater. This is Yanhi working with another group A Henya. She comes up for air once, while the other surfaces twice. 숨은 숨이 긴 사람은 행동도 좀 느려. 그런 데다가 숨이 기니까 이제 자세히 보고 잡는 거지. She never hurries in water, yet she rakes in a netful of conch, which some divers find hard to catch even one. Her colleagues call her an ocean excavator. Cheju Henya understand their breath is determined by heaven and granted by ocean, so they accept the ranks. Till then, it's the sunbeam. It's the sunbeam. 천층, 만층, 구만층이라는 그림, 옛날 할망 속담이 있어. The breath determines the rank and greatly affects the harvest. Yanhi, the excavator, emerged again with a large catch. Whatever the weight, their daily catch, everyone knows they risked their life for it. Why do they have to hold their breath for life? Jeju Island is a volcanic island. The land is barren and its water acid. Crops do not grow, and even when they do, typhoons wipe them out.
They could not live or raise children with what they grew on land, so they jumped into the sea. The breath they stretched became food for their family, liquor for their husbands, and books for their children. But why are there only women who do this harsh work? The sea is dangerous. Fishing boats go past where Hanyo work. And below the surface, even more dangers lurk. A woman can get tied up by floating seagrass. Or an octopus may try to suffocate her. However, there is something even more dangerous. Something that is invisible. Every henya knows how far she can stretch her breath. So they know exactly when to come up for air. An abalone, the object of temptation, is worth about 60 or 70 US dollars, but it's very tenacious and exceptionally difficult to harvest. She's back looking for the abalone she spotted earlier, but even this 70-year veteran cannot find it. The more you are in a hurry, the faster your air runs out. This is undisciplined desire. Sometimes, 
물건이 더 욕심을 나게 시리 사람을 만드는 거. 우리 집이 똘도 이 바닥에서 이 바닥에서 1 8 살이. 친구들이 막 그냥 그 우리 집이 다 이런 말로 막 미역 많이 했지 너면 그냥 난 가야 되는 다 나도 안 나. 이 포이나 나오고 저 포이나 나오고 하나니 그냥 샷바람은 막 세게 불고. 경어다 보난 뒷날 저 하도 가위 짚었던 태아 호미 다 같이 가 놀라. 그, 그거 아니면 사수가 어시나 그거 아니면 또 밑에 아기들도 있고 또 과외뿐만 아니고 이제 살려는 한 곤란한 한에 결심해내 이제 올해 그 마음 아프된 물에 안 들어가면 이제 물에 못 들어갈 것 같아네 올해 자연 때 들어가서 물에 들어간 한에 허진 못해는 그자 나오긴 나온디. 하냐 means accepting the fact that your workplace can become your graveyard. Padae t i r g a d o 아이고 이 자리에서 어떻게 하다가 그렇게 되신가 생각 허망도 생각 허망도 할수 없이 하는 거. 일을 하는 것도 있죠. 바다에만 신경을 쓰면 다 잊어버리죠. 이제. 마음이 괴로울 때도 바다에 가면 다 마음을 하들 잊어버릴 때도 있어. 그것이 물힘. 스프링스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스스
The sea is full of algae. All you have to do is move a little faster and hold your breath a little longer. Haste and greed kick in, and greed is a sure recipe for Mulsum. The highest number of deaths among Jeju Henya occurs in this season of agar agar harvesting. The harvest continues until early summer. They would stay in the water all night long if they could. Each carries her trophy of the long day. Agar is a gelatin source and is also used in cosmetic products. It is mostly exported. Nimble hands can earn as much as 13,000 US dollars and slower ones 7,000 in a single season. For the Henya, it is the crown jewel of the sea. Now the land is covered with agar agar. How one dries them is very important, for its cash value will depend upon it. Day by day, a henya is paid according to the amount of the breath she holds back. Everyone in Sunok's house work at the sea. Her husband is the captain of a fishing boat, and her son works on a commuter ferry. This is her first and last meal of the day. That night, news came from a neighboring village. An elderly henya died in the sea. She was drawn in by the scent of agar agar. After another death like this, they'd rather not go to work. They are all ready for diving, but are not entering the water just yet.
Now she has to go back to the sea. For Henya, living is diving into the bottomless depth and fighting the fierce waves and enduring the fear and loneliness. Summer comes with fog in Jeju. The summer sea is the coldest for Henya. The average temperature is 19 degrees Celsius, much lower than our body temperature. They're exposed to the danger of hypothermia. Summer is the breeding season for fish. When the algae season is over, the sea floor becomes a wasteland. This is when Henya catch fish. They are allowed to use only a primitive tool, a spear with a rubber band handle. Sunok is one of the best shooters. The summer sea is the most erratic. That night, a typhoon came.
The summer on Jeju will come to an end only after all the typhoons pass. Autumn comes to Jeju with southern whales. Grandma Changsun became a henya following her mother's footsteps. Her youngest daughter, Taki, also became a henya at the age of 14. The sea also awaits an autumn harvest. Taki works in the same water as her mother. Changsan has been working in this water for 70 years since she was seven. Her husband passed away when she was 31. As she was raising four children alone, the sea became her husband and her god. She stayed single for the sake of her children, and she held her breath underwater to raise them. Taki's water is close to her mother's. She has two daughters herself, but doesn't want them to follow in her footsteps. Grandma Changsun's children hoped their mother would stop diving. Last year, she almost died in the water before being rescued. But she does not and would not stop. Jeju Henya are fiercely independent. They refuse to be dependent as long as they have energy left to lift the spoon. And there is one more reason. Winter came to Jeju. The Cosmos Club members are having a meeting. They're the youngest Henya on Jeju Island. <laughs> 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 
When they meet, they end up talking almost entirely about the sea. These women will probably be the last generation of Jeju Henya. In winter, one waits longer for the tides. While the younger ones talk, the oldest working henya among them is ready to enter the water. She is the first to leave for the winter sea. Snowflakes are in the air, but her steps are as light as a child going on an excursion. Winter sea is dreadful even for young Henya, but this old hand doesn't even bat an eye. them? What gives them such strength to respond to the call of a wild winter sea?
Yang Dun Good is an annual shaman ritual held in the second lunar month. Woman divers pay respect to the goddess of sea. Henya are getting ready to receive their goddess. They pray with all their hearts for the safety at sea and a bountiful year. The goddess stays for 15 days in the waters of Jeju to plant marine goods in the water before returning to her own country. It is spring again in Jeju. On one of these days, Grandma Changsun got ready for the sea as always with her daughter on her side. But on this day, she did not come up. She let the water have her breath. It was her daughter, Toki, who retrieved the body from the sea. She is buried on a hillside overlooking the sea. Every year, four or five henya die while working in the sea. The woman I talk to are unanimous in saying that is how they would also like to die. It is not that the ocean takes our lives. We have entrusted it with our lives, they say. This is what the ocean is for Henya. On land, she was no more than a frail old woman. But when she was going to the sea, she was always excited. It's another day. They're going back to the sea. Toki is among them. By now, her mother's spirit will have become part of the sea. So for the daughter, the water is now also her mother.
A my native violin Jeju, they're women who report to the sea for work. They're called Henya, the woman of the sea. They lose their colleagues and loved ones in the sea, and with them, they may also lose the strength to go on living. But the sea also brings them solace. This is the power of the water they so love, and Henya are those who live by such power. <laughs> 